furious at India's decision to downgrade Kashmir's status. Pakistan's Prime Minister Imran Khan and his government have decided to retaliate. They'll expel India's High Commissioner and suspend bilateral trade. Prime Minister Imran Khan directed that all diplomatic channels be activated to expose the brutal Indian racist regime and human rights violations. Pakistanis aren't alone. Opposition forces in India as well as Indian Kashmiris have been voicing their anger at Prime Minister Narendra Modi's move. I feel that is not democratic. It has violated all the democratic processes. You're torturing us in the name of ordinary Indians. You're betraying them as much as us. Meanwhile, in Indian-administered Kashmir, armed police patrol empty streets. There's been a crippling curfew since midnight Sunday. Despite this, sporadic protests have been taking place. Unrest in Kashmir dates back to partition, when the Hindu ruler of the Muslim-majority region decided to join India. Islamabad and New Delhi have gone to war twice over the disputed land. China, too, has at times claimed part of the region. On the Indian side, a secessionist rebellion and the ensuing crackdown has killed more than 70,000 people in the past 30 years. However, its partial autonomy had been granted in Article 370 of the country's constitution, an article that the Hindu nationalist government in power has revoked. Now, Indian-controlled Kashmir will lose its special status, its flag and its criminal code.